What can you tell us about the West Virginia defense? Uh, really good up front. You know, they've, uh, uh, you know, they really fly around and, and uh, get off blocks, you know, and they do a really nice job of moving their guys around um, from a front standpoint and uh, mixing things up. So, you know, uh, difficult to get them targeted, you know, at times, but, um, you know, so it'll be a good challenge for us. What goes wrong, Shepard? What goes wrong between them being so good up front and then having some issues with the pass? Yeah, no, I, I think it, uh, um, you know, it's probably a combination of things, you know, but, uh, um, you know, I think when they do, uh, I mean, because they, they do do a lot defensively. So I think when they do a lot, sometimes, you know, they do get out of a gap and all of a sudden you get, you know, you know, you get a big play. So, um, but you know, our, our guys are ready and have, have had a pretty good week of prep. So. You just kind of play with a monster. Is there something they do that's extraordinarily different from other teams? Talking about just West Virginia defensively. Um, I mean, I'd say they're definitely unique. Um, you know, but uh, again, you know, they they play a, a variety of fronts and and you know, uh, quite quite a few versions of uh, you know some two high zone defense. So, but no, it's it's uh, they're unique, but it's not just anything that's super different than anything else. You feel like you guys have kind of conquered that odd man front and gotten the hang of it. Well, I, I think, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I think we were, we had a lot of practice really against our guys, you know, with some three down stuff. But again, it's the um, kind of reacting to the new and different pictures when they happen, you know, and, and hey, a four high be slants and becomes a five after the snap. How does that change that double team or, uh, you know, something as simple as that, you know, and just being able to get used to how that picture changes maybe right before the snap and then how that affects the combinations and how they work. But, you know, again, it's, it's been a process and, and everyone just trying to get better and, and uh, a little bit better each week. You guys talked about how good Will's preparation has been, even, even as the backup. Going into this week knowing that he's going to start 100%, how much actually will change for him? You know, it's it's been so much fun to work with Adrian and, and Will this week or, you know, this season um, because they both have, have been extremely active in the game planning process. Um, and even though, like you said, Will hasn't played as much or as many games, but I mean, he's he, I mean, they're talking to each other, bouncing ideas off one another, telling me what they like, what they don't like. Um, for whatever reason. And then, so, you know, I think it's obviously he's running point and has a little bit more on his shoulders that way. Um, but it's been a very collaborative, fun, fun deal, you know, the whole year. So good that it's not totally new, but obviously he is in, in the chair, so. We've seen Will had a, lot of, had a lot of success pushing the ball down the field in his starts. On Saturday, it looked like he was just kind of taking what the defense gave him. Is that something that you guys figured might happen throughout the week? Um, you know, I, I think we, uh, <clears throat> you know, we didn't know, um, they, they kind of changed. They played a little bit more, uh, true to high zone instead of some of the bracket stuff that they were doing. Um, you know, so it was a lot of quarter, quarter, half and, and some different things that allowed for some kind of intermediate, uh, you know, pass game. But, um, you know, I, I think the, the thing that was interesting too with Baylor, uh, I have to get my mind back. It's been, you know, it's been a minute, but, um, you know, they pressured us a lot more too. And so again, they're a 30% pressure team. They pressure you 65% of the time. And the be one of the best things Will did in that game was get it out of his hand hot and allow us to get deuce out in patterns and five man pro. And, uh, you know, and they couldn't get to him, you know? And so, I mean, 12% of the time they're bringing the corner off the edge, which was not, you know, we weren't expecting that much of it, but, but he was able to manage it and see it. And that allowed him that probably some of those things were even down the field plays that ended up being short because of what they did and how he was able to react and manage it. Coached against the Stills brother, I think, for, <laughs> for about every year of your career. Is yeah. someone you got to be aware of? Oh, 100%. Understand? I mean, he does a great job in high motor, uh, long, athletic, physical. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like we have a, uh, elite D line pass rusher, you know, every week. So it's uh, he, he he'll be a challenge. What makes Ben Senna such a good receiving threat right now? Um, you, you know, I think uh, um, 
he's got natural ball skills. I mean, he really does. And it's something we've, we've known for a while, but a lot, him being able to make those plays in, you know, in the game has been, has been a lot of fun to watch. Um, you know, it's, it has been and will continue to be a great weapon for us as you start looking at, you know, from a defensive perspective of how they see us with taking care of Deuce, taking care of, you know, some edge players, and then uh, obviously some quarterback run game stuff, you're able to create some one-on-ones there, you know, with, with your Y. So, and he's, he's done a good job of, of when, the, when the plays have come his way of finishing it and getting it done. The do stuff and against Baylor was that kind of a product of the game plan going in or taking what they were giving you in terms of man coverage? Both, you know. I think his, you know, we, he's been we've been able to get him some more touches in the past game the last few weeks, um, and then with some of the things that they did, it kind of happened organically there too. So, how stressful for is it for <clears throat> defense to have a running back that capable of catching passes and now a tight end that involved? Uh, it's it's a huge. Um, you know, it's, it's one other guy you got to think about, you know, and it's um, well, what's been cool is, is we've uh, kind of grown this season and, and uh, you know, is allowing the, the offense to generate um, opportunities to, to spread the field and, and get it in different guys' hands, you know, and um, so his playmaking ability and, and him making plays has been tremendous. With Adrian being out this week, now obviously Will goes to number one. Um, Coach mentioned Jake and Jaron. Who are you looking at as number two quarterback? Yeah, both are ready. Both have taken reps this uh, this week. Obviously, um, as of right now, Jake would be the you know the first one to go in and and uh, you know take it one one step at a time. So Sterling Lockett on the last trip. What kind mm-hmm. of progress does he make? Uh, you know he he's awesome. He's awesome. You know it's you, every time on tape I kind of have a little bit of a flashback because his stance is the same as Tyler, and I'm like holy cow, that was, you know. Uh, so that's, you know, he, he's great. Um, he's working hard, is getting stronger. You know, he's uh, in our developmental lift program. And so he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. He, you know, studies his butt off and uh, I'm excited to watch him keep growing. What's your fondest memory of 10 years ago when you were the quarterback, you went to West Virginia and won that game? <laughs> Just winning, you know, that's I mean, it? that's it. You know, it doesn't matter how pretty or ugly it is. You're able to get in the fight and, and walk off that field with a win, it, especially on the road the, with a big-time Big 12 opponent. That's all that matters. <laughs> Adding on to that, it's it's the 10-year the anniversary of, of the Baylor loss from that year. <laughs> what, what, what do you remember? Not to, hey, not to bring the room down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just saw it on Twitter. What are your memories from from that game? If you if anyone sticks oh, out. Oh shoot, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, obviously that'll that'll sting forever. But it's uh, you know, you just gotta make sure you take care of every little thing and use this motivation so you don't let something like that happen. You know, and that's that's all you can do.